Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think real hard about what you wanna be. Step four, do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Hello guys and welcome back to another one of our videos. We are a family of four with two homeschooled kids exploring the Mediterranean on our sailboat. Last week we escaped the Meltemi wind by anchoring in the south of the island of Ios for a few days and the wind gave the kids a chance to fly their kites on the beach. We also moved onto the island of Amogos, further to the east to get a bit closer to Turkey. In this week's episode we're heading from Amogos to the remote island of Levitha to view the Milky Way as the island is very remote and uninhabited. Then we move to our final Greek stop. This is the sponge town of Kalimnos, where we enjoy our final Greek meal. Well, it was actually sushi. We hope you enjoy the show, and if you do, please do consider liking and subscribing. Oh, and please do leave a comment. We love that. Listen, floating rock. That is literally floating inside the air. James has just looked out here and we literally have what appears to be a floating rock. Or well, not floating, it's defying gravity, in fact. Um, this is not photoshopped. Amazing. when you um when you need me need a paddleboard definitely uh so that was our first experience of stern two with the use of the dinghy uh we don't have a paddleboard and the water's too cold to go swimming and we've been advised that it's not a good idea to do swimming when you're doing the stern two um, we don't have floating lines we've got these reels of um stern lines yeah. which are which are really good you know they're on the reel and they're ready to go when we get here um but swimming's not advised um we're on an island of levita levita like ibiza but there's nothing here um we came here two hours ago right yeah well it took us time to go to that anchorage. yeah so, so we came well we came here first yeah this is the eastern side of, of the uh, this is the western uh, side or western side of the bay which is lovely but it's too deep to anchor and swing freely because of you've got to go both there uh catamaran is turned to and but it's quite deep you go eastern side which is go more in boys and go way too many boats and yeah try to maneuver it would not be yeah we i think we would crash yeah we the didn't boat. feel comfortable there because there's about six 16, 13 boats on mooring. I think I can count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe ten. Eight, nine, ten masts. Yeah. There are thirteen mooring boys. There are thirteen mooring boys. There and were nine there. Takaya, our friends, have just gone there. They've got ten years of experience. We've got about a month worth of real experience. Um, so we we went there and we were not confident in picking up a mooring boy over there. The boats were very close to each other and we've just sailed three hours to try to save some money yeah so we're not ready to go and throw nine euros away yeah. i can buy a couple of packs of coffee for that so yeah we went there and then we come back here again and we decided to do a stern too because that was our only option yeah. and uh, it's the first time on our own and it was uh, stressful to say the least. Uh, we don't have a powder board so we use the dinghy. I think the, the stressful thing was because of the wind was blowing. Now the wind's gone. The wind was going southwest, was blowing us, the stern get blown away further further from the rocks, so I got panicking again. 
Yeah, so we oh, so so we laid the, the the anchor out. We've got I think it's 60 meters. Need to double check. 70 meters of chain in 25 meters. It comes a little bit shallower here, and we reversed into this position. And and me and James got onto the dinghy with the lines. We started rowing to shore. The wind was blowing. We were finding it difficult to get to shore, and Tanya and the boat was getting blown away. And Tanya didn't know what to we do. We got we got as far <laughs> as we could to the shore, which was about a meter away, and we run out of line. And Tanya and the boat were over there. So we had to start again. But second time successful, Chris showed me that I need to do in reverse and steer towards the shore that side. So yes, yeah, so it was and not the shore. So what we did it is we reversed the boat, directly into the Hello. wind. So the wind was on the back yeah. of the boat so yeah. it doesn't get turned over. And then while you're doing that, and if you got turned a little bit, me and James would have been on there already. And I pulled you back a little bit. Yeah, yeah, um, so. I think but once you're attached and attached here, then you're not going anywhere. I can come back and winch, yeah, winch you on. Yeah. So we finished that one, and then we, <sighs> and then we've just put a second second line in, and I've snubbed at the same time. So I don't think we're going anywhere tonight, and it feels really nice and calm right yeah, now. So tonight we are in probably the most isolated Hello. place that we've been on this boat before. Hopefully we're not going to go on the rocks. But we're going to have a look, uh, we're, we're all going to have a hot chocolate after something to eat when the sun's gone down and we're going to have a look at the Milky Way because for sure it's out there what somewhere. Milky Way? The Milky Way we is our universe. We can that. But well done James. I Good job. Yeah, thank you James, thank you. Daddy, yeah. mm -hmm. I don't understand well what Milky Way. James, come. James. Daddy, really proud of you. Daddy. Really good, really good job, mm. really good job. Mm. Well then leave for staying out of the way, well, almost. And eating all the bugles. And, and eating all the bugles, well done. all the biscuits and the crisps while well we're busy. The Just blue water, I it's think amazing, I crystal like clear water. But I think it's just a bit cold. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm not said, testing it out, that's for sure. Lovely. Lovely place, yeah. Good night, before we move on to the next island. And closer to Turkey, as you know, we're moving closer to Turkey every day. Sunset is beautiful here. I mean, sunrise. It's beautiful. We are sailing! Finally! <laughs> we are sailing to. What's the place called? Kalimnos. We've got five hours or so, and hopefully, if this carries on, the wind doesn't go, then we should have a good, a good sail. I hope the wind picks up. Well, for example, we get even faster because when we get past the wind, we can even sail eight knots, but that gets a bit too fast. Five and a half, that's good. So, Kalimnos for one day, and then we're going to be hopefully crossing to Turkey tomorrow. We've got to do all the formalities and stuff, but yeah, we shall see how today turns out. Well. What's the place called again? 
Uh, this place is called Mommy, Ka Mommy. Kala, Kala, Mommy. Kala, Kalim, Kalimnos. Kalimnos, we're right. No. This is our port of exit from Greece. Yeah, port, this port of exit. We need to go and exit now. Yay! Today we're going to be. Tomorrow. Today, tomorrow we're going to Tati, and today we're going to be going to a restaurant. To, 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 oh, and tomorrow we're going to Tati. We're going to celebrate in Tati. We have arrived at the final destination, and we are about to check out of Greece. That's our, our agent, not, not agent, this is the port, uh, port uh, manager, the one in black. This is uh, supermarket, Masutis. It's one that we like. So we've just got here and we're going to get changed and go and see some police and immigration officers. Yeah, there we can buy fizzy. That's why and then you can buy fizzy because the police say you can. And that's why we're no, right. we going to be doing We're gonna go out and to a restaurant and drink some fizzy, yeah? Yeah. Hi James. I'm excited to check out Turkey. Though apparently Daddy has Oh Greece. Ah, uh, yeah, uh, Greece. But apparently Daddy has to give a, a, all the serial numbers or not. No, that's to check into Turkey. Right now we've all got to take it we've all got to give a blood sample and um a, a, What does that mean? A, a swab from my ears for DNA. Uh -huh. What does that mean? Just joking. But, uh, Time to check out Greece. Go under, right? Landlocked. <laughs> He's landlocked. Oh no! This is uh, in the main town in Kalimnos. Very charming, like that. Kalimnos is famous for its sponges. So this is my ring that, I mean, I didn't buy it. Mum and Dad buy it, bought it for me, but I chose it. Um, I believe it's handcrafted. We got it from an Australian lady. She's born in Australia. Quite a lot of people in this town are from Australia. They, uh, their families emigrated and came to this island. And most of this island is, is taken over by Australians. Um, and obviously now they're all obviously Greek. It's really funny because you talk to them and their Australian accent comes out really strong. It's like you're in Sydney or somewhere. But this is this is a shell uh, that's been crafted into a, a ring, and then they've put this um, plastic um, uh, emeraldy green stuff in. It's really cool. What they've done with some shells. evening in Greece and we are off to Hello. something to eat we are in Kalimnos Kal Kalimnos I don't know where that motorbike came from but an I don't island think anybody in, can hear anything in Dodikanis let's go have a look at that and uh, an island and it has uh, it's famous for the sponge boat where you where the divers used to go down 50 meters deep or more than that and uh, collect the sponges then we got some we? yeah it's interesting how they actually do it they don't come out of the sea like that no apparently they're black and you have to treat them on, on the on the boat first and then step on them and squish them get all these pieces out uh, yeah it's very interesting oh, I 
It's so silly today. So, kids are out. Let's go and find a restaurant. They just came to look at the clock. Uh, well, it's church. And I guess the clock tower. Leo! Hello! Hello! Goodbye! My toast is. Goodbye Greece, hello Turkey. Goodbye Greece. Cheers. Cheers. We are saying farewell, uh, farewell or so long to, to, to Greece. It's not a goodbye. It's see you soon. It's see you soon. We've not seen enough of your culture and beautiful places. So we will be back when we come back from Turkey. So here's to coming back to Greece. Cheers. 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 What's wrong, Cuny? What's wrong? Come here, right, So we're here at the restaurant. It's a um, sushi restaurant, Homo Sushi, and we just had some some delicious things. I'm going to turn you around. James is going to explain what he's eating. So, I have had these noodles, chicken noodles. I haven't found any chicken yet though. I've also had <laughs> some temp tempura shrimps. I thought it was not nice, but when I tried it, it was scrumptious. And when I um, also, I also had the spring rolls. Also quite nice. And I haven't really had any else. Uh, and I've had this, some of this thing, this green spicy thing. It's really spicy. Well, do you want teriyaki? Oh, <laughs> yeah. well, no, that's too much. <laughs> now, now lick that. <laughs> nice. Have a drink. You like it? Oh, have a drink. Yeah, so we've got some sushi, we've got some some tuna sushi, we've got some avocado sushi, we've got sweet and sour chicken, some chicken noodles, tempura, we had some tempura chicken, and also some spring rolls, and we've just ordered some more. And I've got a beer. Do it again, do it again. <laughs> 